Yo, what's up, guys? Sean here, aka Yamba Flying Midget, guys. Welcome back to Vehicle Simulator. It's literally been forever. Still looking real good, though. Hey, guys, seriously, so it has been forever since we've played this game. I mean, like, literally forever. I want to say it's been over a month since I've actually played Vehicle Simulator. We played some other kind of car games uh, the past couple weeks and whatnot, but I have not played an actual Vehicle Simulator in about a month. And the reasoning behind that is because of this. It is Friday, April the 6th right now, guys. And we haven't gotten any new car. We didn't get one at the beginning of March. We didn't get one at the beginning of April. Um, I love the Vehicle Simulator devs a ton. I love those dudes. They are amazing. But this was just kind of seen as like unbelievable. You prom First of all, you say that you're not going to release as many cars. And then you don't release any cars at all. Like, it, you know, it's just this delayed stuff. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm not here. I'm not here to. to oh, rip me. Rip me. I'm not here to rant on the devs. I still love the devs in this game a ton. I give them mad respect. I love those dudes. Everything about them is awesome, okay? Um, I'm just really bummed that we don't have new cars to kind of show off and all about that. And it's just kind of it's just kind of a bummer, you know? It's just kind of a bummer because I do really like this game. I love playing this game. You guys love when I play this game. And there's been no new content in over a month uh, to really to really make, make videos on. It's like, what are we even doing, man? What are we doing? I do really like this car. I feel like this one's really... I feel like we don't use this car enough, but, um, but yeah, so no, I'm not here to kind of bag and rip on vehicle simulator or anything like that, guys. I'm just, I just want to tell you guys, that's the reason that there hasn't been any vehicle simulator videos for you guys, uh, because there hasn't been any updates to the game, and it's just kind of, uh, it's just kind of gone a little stale, so, um, but I will say that the vehicle simulator devs are planning in the next week or so, um, a really big update to the game, okay? Now, they are promising this update to be absolutely massive, okay? There's going to be a whole new garage um, kind of upgrade, so the way you kind of customize your car, you're going to be able to customize like a ton. Like, you're going to be able to change the wheel, the rim size. Um, there, there's all sorts of customization that's going to be added into Vehicle Simulator, which is awesome, which is very cool. Hopefully, they're going to drop some new cars on us. Um, I know the cars are made and they're done. They just haven't really been dropped and, and, um, and all that. So I'm excited to try out some new cars. Um, but yeah, so the update will drop in hopefully a week or so. That's kind of what they've told me. Um, if it doesn't drop in the next week or so, I don't even know, dudes. I don't even know what to do anymore with Vehicle Simulator. But I know they're working really hard, so you know I, I, I do give them respect for that, okay? I do give them respect for that. Um, so that's something we can kind of look forward to. We can look forward to some new cars, hopefully, some new um, kind of auto shop upgrades, some new kind of fixes and whatnot going on through the game, and hopefully just a really awesome game when this uh, when this update drops. So I'm super excited for that, um, and uh, and I'll keep you guys posted. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to drop a video on that, like, right as it comes out. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll definitely have to see on that one, guys. But we are going to be buying a new car today because I've been itching to buy a new car. I mean, I got $30 million in the bank. Um, and I've been, I've been meaning to buy a new car, even though there aren't any new cars out there. Um, I still kind of want to buy a new car that we don't have already because there's still a lot that I want to buy. I still don't really want the Ego. Don't, still, still don't really want that car. Don't, I mean, I got the Tesla, which is like better. I, we tested it out. I tested it out with TAC a while ago. And I want to say it was better. You guys will have to watch the video on that. I have a feeling like the Tesla was definitely better, though. Um, I do want the Lycan Hypersport, but I'm going to have to pass on that one. It is probably a super ridiculously awesome car, but I'm going to have to pass on that one, even though I really, 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 really want that one. We could do, like, a nice luxury car. The P1 is one of my favorites. The McLaren, we don't have that one yet, but I feel like we've got the P1, which is, like, better. So I'm just not going to even bother with that one. We've already got that car, and I don't think we have the Huracan. I don't think. I feel like we've... See, that, that's the thing, is it's just... We don't have any new cars. It's just gone stale. I mean, the GTR is kind of cool. It's just really cheap. I probably wouldn't like it as much. Um... I'm having a feeling like we're gonna go for a uh, we're gonna go for a very luxury car, but should we check the other car dealership and see if there's anything in there that I haven't gotten that I want? Um, no, no, we need we need like a luxurious a luxurious kind of ball out car, so we're gonna we're gonna go for the Mercedes Benz. All right, we're gonna buy this bad boy. We're gonna purchase this guy. Yep, there we go. Bought her for 120, 120. Let's go. All right, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna we're gonna swag us outside. All right, but yeah, so. We're going to customize this thing, but guys, I want to know what you guys are most, most hyped about. I know you guys probably know about this update, just kind of like me, um, and uh, you probably don't know when it's going to drop. I mean, no one knows when it's going to drop. I, I, was, I literally just messaged the devs, and they were like, hopefully in a week. So not sure not sure how accurate that is. It's usually not super accurate, but it's still, it's still kind of 
around the range. So, you know, if they say about a week, I think worst case it'll be out in about two weeks. And best case it'll be out, I don't see it coming out sometime next week. I definitely see it at the earliest next weekend. So, um, there's uh, there's kind of that. Let's go ahead and let's, let's, let's go out over here. Let's go ahead and customize our car. Um, and kind of make it look, kind of make it look sick, you know, kind of make it look legit. But I want to know what you guys are most hyped about with this, though, this new update that's supposed to be coming out. Are you hyped about the new cars? Are you hyped about the, um, the auto shop upgrade? What are you guys hyped about? Let me know in the comments down below because I do want to know your guys' feedback and whatnot. In all honesty, I think the auto shop is going to be cool. I think it's going to be awesome to be able to customize your car more. Um, but there's already amazing ways to customize your car and make it unique and, um, and it's hard picking things. It's really hard to, like, we're about to customize this car right now. And it's really hard to, to customize it because there's so many things you can pick from it. So, while I do think the, the, the auto shop is going to be super epic and super awesome, um, I have a feeling like I'm going to be way more hyped about the new cars. Hopefully, they're cool cars. Hopefully, they're not, like, um, I don't know, like, basic. Hopefully, it's not, like, a Toyota Camry. I'll lose my mind. If they drop a Toyota Camry on us, I will literally lose my mind in Vehicle Simulator, drop a diss track, go nuts. If, like, all this hype for, like, two months... And they drop like the most basic car in the world. And uh, fun fact about that, I actually own a Toyota Camry, so there's that. <laughs> Alright, whoa. Where'd my car go? Where, where my car? Just deleted my car. Give me my car, bro. Give me my Give me in there. Give me in there. Alright. Ooh, I do like this car. This is a really nice car if I was like 50 years old. If I was a 50 year old guy, I would buy this car in a heartbeat. It's like so, so nice. But I can imagine it's really annoying to drive. Um, when you're on perks, when you're on auto pocket shop. I can imagine it's it's kind of a pain to drive because the front of it is so long. So like just seeing over the hood, and I mean I'm a midget, no, but seeing over the hood and like driving is probably kind of annoying. I did drive a Mustang over the summer and uh and that was a pain, and that doesn't even have as, as long as a hood, I feel like. Alright, primary color. Wait, wait, are we gonna put on a um are we gonna put on a a, a wrap? We're gonna put on a wrap on this guy. I mean, this is like an old guy kind of car, so you want to keep it kind of kind of clean. What's what's our clown looking like? Yeah, no, like not like that. We don't want that. Dark lava? No, I don't like how the camera angle resets when you're in auto parking shop. By the way, so if the devs are watching, or maybe I should just message you guys. Maybe like not have it reset like that. I like. I don't want to have to hold the mouse button in every single time. All right, electric. It's electric. No, we're looking for something kind of a. Uh, Whatever, for some kind of like like royal purple would be great for this car. Oh, that looks, the, the simpler these things are, the, the so much better they are. All right, the pearlescent looks kind of cool too. I will I will give it that. I will definitely give it that. Um, we could do starry camo. No, that might not look as good. Xeon, that'll look way too much for this car. Holy cow! All right, you know why don't we go for something really, really basic and like not even really add in? What snowflake look like? Honestly, Snowflake could look kind of cool on this kind of car, but I think I'm going to go for like a semi-gloss or a shiny and uh, and just call it good at that. You want this to be like a super clean looking car. That's what I always think about when I think of when I think of these cars. It's a super clean, awesome looking thing. All right, we're going to go for that. Primary, no, we're going to leave that. Um, material, we're all good on all that. I don't know about white though. Should we change the white? What if we change, I mean, Mercedes and, and the color white go like hand in hand. But what if we go for like a light blue, like, like a pastel light blue? Ooh, that looks kind of good. Looks looks kind of good. Or a mint. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, you know what? I don't really know. Or a buttermilk, actually. Okay, buttermilk actually looks pretty sweet. I want something to really pop and be, like, super vibrant, like a lime green. But I feel like that just does not fit this car theme. Like, it, it just doesn't fit it. Like, that is, like, so vibrant. Like, that is super vibrant. I don't really know, dudes. I, see, this is what I'm saying. We already have so many choices when picking things, it's really hard to kind of customize your car. A maroon even looks not bad as well. You know, why don't we go for a maroon and then go for whoop, and then go for the material to get something really kind of basic, like like clouds. Nope, like clouds. I meant I meant clouds, bro. Okay, clouds. I want something like a really basic, like like looking thing that's not super intense, edgy maybe. Is that what I'm looking for? Edgy kind of looks nice. I will say, edgy looks nice on this. I don't know if I'm gonna stay with this color though. This color is a hard one to pick. The color is really hard. Deep orange. No. I was with, I don't know, do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's already hard to, to pick things. Quill gray. I mean, that looks kind of clean like that. You know, Mercedes goes with a white car, so we're going to go for that. Secondary color, uh, what, what does it change? Ooh, I mean, that looks nice. That, that does look nice. Or what we could do is get really wild here and go for, like, a maroon. No, yeah, that looks that looks just poop, poop midget. It just looks poop burnt sienna. Nope, nope. What if we went for, like, an eggplant? Got, got real wild. No, yeah, those things just, they just don't look good. They just don't look good, man. I don't know, I hate picking colors, dude. It's been a while since we picked some colors. 
Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just go for the really black. Just go for the really black, swag it out. I mean, that still looks nice. Still looks nice. Secondary, no, no, we're all good on all that. I think what I, I might actually do is go secondary material and go for like a black camo. That could look pretty swag. Black camo or maybe even a carbon fiber on this kind of car. Carbon fiber on this car looks pretty clean as well. There's so many choices, dudes. You never know what you're going to go with. So I think what I'm going to do is just leave it like that. We're going to go ahead and go into headlight color. I'm going to go ahead and turn my headlights on. Headlight color, we got to keep them white. We got to keep them white. And, uh, and okay, I think that's good. We're going to go for a uh, rim type. Oh, we need more rims. That's what we need. Hopefully they add that in. I've been saying we need more rims since like day one. Um, all right, we're going to go for something kind of clean, kind of kind of basic. Or you know what? Actually, we are a Mercedes, so we could do something like like a Futron. We could do something like that or like a or like a Galaxy. Galaxy could actually look really cool on this. Wow. Wow. Okay, yep, we're going with that. We're going to leave them white. We're going to this thing's actually looking really good. All right, rim material. Now we're going to leave that clean. License plate. Sure, we'll add in a little license plate. We'll go ahead and do um Benz. Benz. Apply that. Apply that bad boy. All right. Neons. We're going to go for them on, swag them, swag them outside, neon color, give me the white. Whoop, give me the white. I want white. All right, there we go. So that should be a really sick looking car. Modifications, let's just go ahead and, let's just go ahead and, oh wait, man, I haven't played this in a while. Racing brakes, we'll purchase that. We'll pimp this thing out, and I want to test it in the 0 to 60, just to kind of see what it's like. Just to kind of see what it's like. Engine, give me the ludicrous, baby. Ludicrous, give me that. All right, horn, nitrous, yeah, we need rocky fuel. We need rocky fuel, hashtag jailbreak. All right, we're good there. Uh, radar jammers, radar detectors, blah, blah, blah. Suspension. We're going to go for some shocks. We're going to go for some racing shocks. This is going to be like like that car that rolls up and the old guy, and he's like, what's up, bro? Look at my, like, $150,000 car. Yeah, it's really luxurious, and I've got, like, everything you can imagine. It's so high-tech and super luxurious, but I'm going to burn you off the line and absolutely wreck you. That's kind of what I'm going for here, but I don't really know. I don't know how fast this car is. I literally don't. I mean, it's an AMG series, and the AMG series make the cars a lot freaking faster but i don't know by how much Ooh, that is so clean and why is window tint in modifications i feel like it should really be an appearance but that's just me that's just me all right tires we're gonna go for racing slicks yeah give me that give me that baby and then we're gonna go for transmission we're gonna go for pro short yeah buddy yeah buddy turbo charger give me the quad turbo and let's get it let's get it boys let's get it let's see how fast this thing actually is all right oh my goodness I had an issue getting over the curb. Holy cow. All right. I don't I don't imagine this thing to be breaking some record times right now. We've had some other crazier kind of cars break some record times and whatnot. But, uh, but I can imagine this is still pretty decent. I mean, it's not a cheap car by all means. This should beat your, like, Ford Mustang. Maybe not, like, the, the, the Super Snake. But, like, you know, this should beat, like, the normal Ford Mustang. This should beat the, uh, the Camaro, the BRZ. What other cars do I have? Let's actually look. Let's look, rip me, rip me, yep, flip that over. What other cars do I got? It should beat the, um, yeah, the BRZ, I don't think it'll beat any of the Teslas. Uh, should beat the 86, the Toyota 86. Uh, shouldn't beat any of those, should beat the Camaro, should beat the Impala. I don't know about the Stingray, I actually want to test both those right now. Because the Stingray, if you, if you had this kind of money in real life, you'd be kind of debating either the Stingray, wait, where the heck are we right now? Oh, I got turned around for a second. You'd be kind of debating if you want to go for speed and kind of like, like, the, like if you're an old guy and you've got lots of money or you're just like a balling young dude. Um, if you got lots of money, you'd either buy this car. I mean, this car is pretty legit. Actually, I should lock my car. Please, please don't get in. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Specs. Nobody. Nobody knows. All right. Hop in, bro. All right. So we're going to get to GT. So we should get our butt absolutely handed to us because the GT is ridiculously fast. But if you had to choose, you would choose this Mercedes Benz or you choose the, the, the Corvette if you want something a little, little faster. I think the Corvette should be quicker, but I really don't know. All right. That dude is drunk driving. He is drunk driving on the racetrack. Nice. All right. What do we got? So we got a, I think it's like a 6.8 or a 6.9. Not amazing. But not bad. I mean, honestly, not bad. Literally not bad for uh, for like a luxurious car. This is supposed to be a luxurious car. So let's see kind of what it got. It got a 6.835. Okay, so now I want to test that. Rip, get me out. I want to test that against the, the, the VET. Because the VET, in all honesty, should be, I think, quicker. And they're about the same price range. Oh, man, I forgot our VET just looks freaking murdered out and awesome. Holy cow, our VET looks legit. Totally forgot about how epic this thing is. But, um... Yeah, so if it was me, if I had the money for both these cars, I'd go for the Vet, hands down. I'd buy the Corvette 10 out of 10 times. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Because I think that this Vet should be way quick, not than the GT, but should be way quicker than the uh, than the Mercedes. But, oh, it's not. 
What? Okay. I mean, in all honesty, this vet should be faster. I want to go check it, but I feel like this vet should be way quicker than the uh, than the, than the Mercedes AMG. I think. I don't know. Maybe I should go look him up. But let's see. What did it get? It got. Seven. It wasn't even close. I gotta look these up. Okay, check it. So the Corvette. Right here, Stingray, Z51, or Z06, or any of those kind of cars, we're looking at a 3.7 to a 3.2. If we're kind of going, for, I mean, the ZR, this this car right here is probably ridiculously fast. But we're kind of looking, at, I mean, like the highest being a 3.8, like the longest, and maybe the, the lowest being about a 3. I'll give it about a 3. I mean, even though this car should be a beast mode. Okay, so about 3.8 to a 3, right? And now Mercedes, I don't really know which car this is because the game literally just says Mercedes-Benz AMG. It doesn't really give you a model. But if you kind of look at some of these, so that's like a 4.5. That one's a 4.3, 4.1. Um, when you kind of look into it, I mean, the AMG series makes it a lot quicker, but... Uh, these ones, I mean, 3.9, but that's the convertible, so that's not the one we're, we're working with. That's the, the C63. Maybe this is C63 Coupe, still only a 3.8. What do what do we what do we got kind of rocking down here? We got some. Nope, those are all kind of older, older, um, older. Those are all those are all old, man. Those are all old. Okay, wait, I'm looking for like okay, right here. So it could be that one, 4.2. I mean, again, I don't, I'm not well versed in Mercedes, so I don't know what these cars look like or how close I am to getting this accurate. But this one, 3.4, maybe it could be that one, 3.4. But even then, these cars should be way more similarly matched. I mean, the fact that one beat them by, like, five seconds, holy freaking cow, that is insane. I mean, that is that is just that is just kind of unreal. I feel like they should be really, 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 really closely matched. All right, sorry, bro, Sidens, but I got to I gotta lock this. Oh, it already says nobody. Nice. Nice. Um, But, yeah, guys, these cars should be a little bit more uh, similarly matched. I mean, I guess in the game... If you want a quicker car, go for the go for the Mercedes AMG because that'll get you your quicker car. But in real life, if you want a quicker car, I think your best bet is to definitely go for a uh, go for a Corvette. And I, my, in all honesty, I think the Corvettes look a lot better than these. These are sick. I'm not downplaying these. I know everyone in the comments is probably tearing me up like midget. You literally buy a Corvette over this car? Are you kidding me? I know, but. The reason I'd buy a vet, guys, is because the vet, in my opinion, looks a lot better. It looks super nice. Okay, now this car looks nice, but it just looks like a, a typical Mercedes. People see it and they go, oh, it's another Mercedes. They don't know how much you spent on it because Mercedes can range anywhere from a, I don't know, a, a $30,000 car to like a $200,000 car. I mean, no one knows how much you spent on it, so, but everyone knows a Corvette is roughly like a hundred grand. Everyone's like, all right, you buy a brand new vet. You're looking at like a hundred grand. So I mean, I don't know. I think I'd buy. I think I'd buy a Corvette if it came down to it. And I think a Corvette in real life is quicker. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know. Go hashtag Mercedes or hashtag Corvette if um, whichever one you guys want. Because I'd be interested to know. I'm, I'm more of a hashtag Corvette kind of guy. And I feel like most of you guys would be hashtag Corvettes kind of guy. But I know once people get older, like old guys, this is the car to get. Like this AMG car is like all right. Let's let's ball out. Look at my look at my Mercedes boys. That's kind of what everyone thinks. But um, but yeah, I mean the handling on this everything. It's just it's it's so the front of it is so long that it just it feels kind of weird. Even driving in this game, and I can imagine driving in real life, it's even weird as well. But um, but yeah, I'm more of a vet guy. I'm more of a vet guy. Oh god, I'm more of a vet guy. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm not gonna necessarily take this around the uh, take this around the highway race right now. Um, I just kind of want to see how it kind of compared, kind of see, uh, kind of see how it how it looks and, and everything. Got ourselves a little luxury car in case you want to ball out and be like, be like ballas. But uh, but yeah, I kind of want to know you guys' feedback again on the uh, on the whole situation with Vehicle Simulator and the updates and everything that's rolling rolling around with this game and whatnot. So let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna be reading the comments of this video a lot because I really want to know your guys' feedback on this game. Vehicle Simulator is a big part of my channel. I do really care about the game. I care about the devs. I care about all that kind of stuff, guys. So I want to know your guys' feedback in the comments down below. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I think that's what I'm going to call the video for today, guys. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment, as I've been saying. And uh, until next time, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you be fly and subscribe.